So what happened is a plea agreement between the county attorney's office and the defendants in this case. With that plea agreement, the defendants have relinquished all rights to the dogs over to the, um, I can't think of it, it's called off the top of my head, but uh, the Animal Savers uh, group here in the uh, Polson area. Yes, it's called Life Savers Animal Rescue. Yep, Life Savers. They've relinquished all of that their rights over to them, and we're currently... Uh, I've got uh, the undersheriff is currently down on scene. We've got deputies there, and they're gathering all the crates and uh, all the materials and vehicles to uh, pick up all these dogs. And at some point, they will be um, put up for adoption through that Lifesavers organization. I, I don't have uh, phone numbers for people to call in yet, but we will uh, get that information out on the next um, press release, but it is. It, we've been working on it really hard, kind of covertly getting people ready to pick up these dogs, uh, getting prepared, but we didn't want to get them too excited and, and ahead of time, but they were ready to pick up families throughout the valley were uh, getting ready to pick up, you know, they might take 10 dogs or they might pick up six dogs, and then we told them just to be ready, and and so they're getting their gear together and and we've got sponsors to feed the dogs and so it uh it's a good it's a it's a win-win for the for the dogs and uh and uh it, it's a good thing that these animals are now going to be in in that proper care and it, isn't it amazing that 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 in the entire valley the entire uh uh, area uh, of Lake County and, and, of course, you know, Polson, Missoula, all over, uh, they've come together to help with this thing, right? Yes, it is. It got actually really big. We were getting letters from out of state, people wanting to come in and help uh, with this. So I, I didn't realize it got that big. I know some of the live feeds that were done by uh, a, a newscaster out of Missoula, within 10 minutes, it had several thousand. Um, so... <laughs> It went it went pretty big, pretty fast, and I mean it's a pretty important story, and, and I'm I'm uh, grateful that that deputy spent the time to really investigate it, and then went down with the search warrant and got this all started. So I got I got to give Taylor Blazard a lot of kudos for pushing through that, and Clay Shoemaker, and then the other deputies also assisted in the county attorney's mm-hmm. office and. And uh, it, uh, and then all the animal, the vet clinics, and all those folks that come in and and just really step forward to help these little animals that are kind of in dire need. And, and I'm glad it come together sooner than later. All right. Did you happen to know if any of them uh, uh, died during the interim period between when you first uh, did the charges and this point? You know, the only one that I know of that has died since that was a, a female that had pups, and one of her five pups um, had passed. But that she hadn't had the pups when we started this. Sure. One of the pups she had after we started this. So now how many... That's not uncommon. But. Sure. Don, how many dogs are we talking about, just ballpark figure here? You know, it's going to be between 126 and 130, I suppose. The court order says 130, but it's going to be someplace someplace around 130. 